as the Pandita. Pandita means one who knows things as it is, not to take a thing wrong. So that consciousness has to be involved, not only individual, but also community-wise, society-wise, nation-wise, all over the world. Then there will be peace. If you want real peace, Bhoktaram Jagatava Sam Sarvabhuta Mahasaram, Sridam Sarvabhutanam Jatamam Santimichati. We are just trying to be philanthropic, altruistic, and we are uh, trying to become friends of my countrymen, of my society, of my family. Uh, but that is a wrong conception. Uh, the real friend is Krishna. I can work on his behalf. How I can work? Do you try, if you actually want to do something good to your family, then you try to make all the members of your family Krishna conscious. Then your life will be successful. If you want to make them otherwise, Without Kinsha consciousness, then you will be serving, not serving, it will render them dissatisfied. Because any knowledge will not help your wife or children. Any knowledge, any amount of knowledge will not help. His real problem, what is his real problem, we do not know. The real problem is that we do not know. The real problem is Janma Mitya Jarabhadhi. The Bhagavad says, pita nasasyat, janani nasasyat. One should not try to become father. One should not try to become mother. Why? Namo chayevja samupi tamrittam. One who is unable to save his children from the grip of material That should be Krishna consciousness. If you are a responsible father, then if you are completely knowledge, of Krishna consciousness, then your duty will be that these creatures, these innocent creatures, now who are playing in my, at my home, as my children, as my boy, eh, now this life should be the last installment of his transmigration from one body to another. I shall train these boys in such a way that after this body he will and no more to go into the cycle of birth and death. That is Krishna consciousness. That means you have to make yourself expert. Then you can help your children also. Then you can help your nation also. Then you can help your society also. If you are yourself ignorant, then andhājatāṁ vairupaniyamāna Devi Satantra Urudhāmi Bhagya Just like a person who is tightly bound up hands and feet. Suppose we are sitting here, some people, twenty-five gentlemen, ladies, and offer all our hands are tightly bound up by some rope. And if I want to make you free, although my hand is also tightly bound up, is it possible? No. At least my hand should be free. Then I can open, I can untie your binding by the rope. So unless one is free man, and what is that freedom? One who is Krishna conscious, he is free man. And what is free? Daivi Jesha Agnami Mamu Maya Duratya Mami Vaja Prapadanti Maya Metang Tarantite. Everyone is under the spell of material influence. Nobody is free. And one who, is, who has surrendered unto Krishna, one who has taken Krishna consciousness, Maya has nothing to do. Maya cannot touch. Just like if you come in front of the sunlight, there is no question of darkness. There is no question of darkness. If you place yourself in light, sunlight, not this artificial light, this artificial light may be extinguished at any time, 
But sunlight is not like that. The Krishna is just like sunlight. Uh, as soon as you come uh, in front of sun, oh, there is no darkness. So there is no ignorance. So there is no mind. Maya means illusion. So jnana vri dagsa karma na tamahu pandita buddha. In this way, we have to become buddha. Buddha means learning, learning. And you find in, in the tenth chapter of Bhagavad Gita that uh, the Lord says, Who is Buddha? And what are the symptoms of Buddha? Buddha means learning. What are the symptoms? Uh, what are the symptoms of Mahatma, great soul? And what are the symptoms of Buddha? That is described in Bhagavad Gita. Oh. It is said that, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava matta sarvam pravartate iti matya bhajante maam buddha bhava sabarnita. Buddha, this is the word, the very word, again is used, buddha. So buddha, one who is uh, learning, one who is actually in sense, is not nonsense, uh, he is called buddha. So buddha, what are the symptoms? The symptoms of buddha is that, hmm, uh, Aham Sarvasapra, he knows that Krishna is the fountain head of all emanation. Everything, whatever we find, everything, anything, whatever you see. Now take for example, take for example, the material world, the most prominent thing is, I mean to say, unity between man and all that. Now one can infer where from this attraction comes between male and female, not only the human society, but also in the animal society, in the bird society, in any society, any living. This is a fact. So uh, <coughs> somebody uh, criticizes, but those who uh, do not know Krishna, the Krishna had so many girlfriends. Uh, so they are something like inside. But one does not know that where we get this idea of having girlfriend, unless the tendency is in Krishna. Because you can have nothing here unless that is in Krishna. Uh, but here it is parvati, it is polluted, and Krishna it is pure consciousness, pure spiritual. That is the difference. So one who does not know, uh, they want to avoid something. Nothing is, uh, I mean, it can be, uh, can exist in this material world unless it is in Krishna. Then Mahadasya Jataha. So these things have to be studied very scientifically and, and from books like Bhagavad Gita, Simad Bhagavatam, and when he is perfectly uh, learned, then his symptom is that he becomes a, a pure devotee of Krishna. Aham sarvasya prabhava matta sarvam pravattate. Uh, I am the uh, source, fountain head, Krishna says. I am the source and fountain head like, uh, <coughs> of everything. One who understands this science, uh, then he takes to Krishna. How? Na, buddha bhava samanita with, uh, with full knowledge and he becomes a devotee of Krishna. Similarly, uh, so far Mahatma, Mahatma is a Sanskrit word which is uh, used for great soul. Uh, that, that is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Mahatma nasthamaṁ prātha devi prakiti mahasthita bhajanti ananna manaso Mahatma. Uh, who is the Mahatma? Who is the great soul? Great soul is he who is under the influence of the superior nature. There are two kinds of nature. Superior nature and inferior nature. Now we are under the influence of this inferior material nature. And by Krishna consciousness we shall be transferred into the 
啊，是不一样的